Hello, my name is Joe Miller. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Instruction here in Cinnaminson School District. And I'll be reading for you uh, tonight. A book I've chosen is called Double Trouble in Walla Walla. Walla Walla, in case you didn't know, is a city in Washington, the state of Washington here in the United States. I've chosen this book because I've read it several times over the years to children of different ages and everyone seems to love it. It's kind of like uh, all about double talk and you'll find out why in just a minute. Reading Double Trouble in Walla Walla. The author is Andrew Clements and it's illustrated by Salvatore Murdaka. It was an ordinary Monday morning in Walla Walla until Lulu raised her hand in class. Mrs. Bell, I feel like a nitwit. My homework is all higgledy-piggledy. Last night it was in tip-top shape, but now it's a big mishmash. Mrs. Bell said, nitwit, higgledy-piggledy, mishmash. Lulu, stop that flip-flop chitter-chatter or you'll be in double trouble. Lulu said, but I'm not trying to flip-flop chit-chat. I just have an itty-bitty problem with my homework. Mrs. Bell scowled. All right for you, Lulu. If you're going to shilly-shally and dilly-dally with all this fancy-schmancy yak-yak, then we'll just have to trit-trot down to the principal's office. Mrs. Bell hurried Lulu down the hall, and they burst into the principal's office. Mrs. Thompson said, uh, Mr. Thompson said, what's all the hubbub about? Mrs. Bell said, Lulu's been trying to razzle-dazzle me with some kind of lippity-loppity jibber-jabber, and now I'm all helter-skelter myself. Mr. Thomas raised his eyebrows, tut-tut. Sounds like silly willy hocus pocus to me. Mrs. Bell's mouth dropped open. She pointed to the principal and said, Eka freaka, Lulu's got your tongue all topsy-turvy too. Now, now, don't get the jim jams, Mrs. Bell. Let's give the nurse a yoo-hoo. Mr. Thomas picked up his phone and said, Mrs. Carter, I'm going to pitter-patter over to your office. Okie dokie. All three went across the hall to the nurse's office. Mr. Thomas said, Howdy doody, Mrs. Carter. We're a little wacko wacko. Lulu's got us talking this sing-song clap trap like we're cuckoo. Mrs. Carter smiled at Lulu and said, Fiddle faddle, Lulu and I are palsy wowsies. She wouldn't try that kind of phony baloney tutti fruity flim flam. Lulu and her teacher and the principal stared at the nurse. Lulu said, Wowie zowie. Mrs. Bell said, Jeepers, creepers. And Mr. Thomas said, Holy moly, you're in the same hodgepodge we are. I better give the superintendent a jingle jangle. Chop, chop. Wait one ding dang tick tock, shouted the nurse. If you chit chat with the big wig, then he'll yak yak like Lulu too. If we're not very, very hush-hush about this, there could be a mongo-mongo brain drain and everybody in Walla Walla will be talking like a herky-jerky ding-a-ling. Then the nurse turned to Lulu. Lulu, let's get to the nitty-gritty. When did all this mumbo-jumbo start? Lulu gulped. She said, in English class, I had an itsy-bitsy problem with my homework. And then zip-zap. Mrs. Bell said, talking like it was a no-no. The nurse looked over the top of her glasses at Lulu. Something like this would not just happen willy-nilly. Now, Lulu, think extra, extra hard and tell me what you did yesterday. Well, said Lulu, it was really a humdrum day. I was practicing ballet in my tutu when my little brother Bobo asked me to play on the teeter-totter. 
We seesawed until Bobo slipped off and got a boo-boo and started to boo-hoo. Mama and Papa came running pell-mell, so I went inside and splish-splashed in the rub-a-dub tub and then hip-hopped into my cuddly wuddly Betty Betty. I said night-night to Mama and Papa and Bobo and fell asleep in a snip-snap. That's all I did, honest. Mrs. Carter said, Lulu, it seems to me that you've opened up a knock'em, sock'em, wibble-wobble word warp. I usually don't believe in this kind of hoodoo bunko junko, but if it was going to happen anywhere, it would probably happen right here in Walla Walla. Mrs. Bell said, let's not quibble quabble, Mrs. Carter. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies from all this razzmatazz. What can we do? We should say all the rootin' tootin' crinkum crankum wooly bully words we can think of. Maybe that will clear the air and close the warp. Worth a try? asked Nurse Carter. Mr. Thomas said, aye aye. Mrs. Bell said, let's do si do. And Lulu said, uh huh. Nurse Carter closed the door to her office. Then she turned around and said, Lulu, let's get this harem scarum show on the road. Lulu stood right up and blurted out, Ticky tacky nick knack, coochie coochie coo, hubba bubba roger dodger ooey gooey goo. Mrs. Carter cleared her throat and said, Hugger mugger hob knob pitta patter bon bon wishy washy squish squash handy dandy mish mosh. Mr. Thomas closed his eyes and started slowly but picked up speed. Eensy beensy chew chew. Teeny, tiny, hurdy, gurdy, roly, poly, rag, tag, hurly, burly, riff, raff, rumble, tumble, hip, hop, teeny, weeny, pop, top, namby, pamby, hippy, dippy, hoity, oity, top, hot shot. And then Mrs. Bell stood up and took a deep breath. Put, put, vroom, vroom, honk, honk, zoom, zoom, zig, zag, clank, clank, slam, bam, fender, bender, ringy, dingy. Cling, clang, ring a ding, boing, boing, ring a ling, zing, zing, bing, bang, boom, never, never, wig, wom, turkey, lurkey, tom, tom, tootsie, wootsie, tittle, tattle, tee, he, he. And then without warning, words flooded the air. Fuzzy wuzzy, fuddy duddy, loosey goosey, lovey dovey, kissy kissy, huggy huggy, rink a dink a do, ga ga, ra ra, go go, so so, from from, goo goo, poo poo, woo woo, pinky dinky, arf arf, argy bargy, woof woof, boogie woogie, bow wow, super duper, pooper scooper, clippity clippity, hoppity hoppity, clickety clackety, rickety rackety, blah blah blah, ba ba ba. Ha, 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 clip, clop, drip, drop, click, clack, click, rackle, eager beaver, lucky ducky, comfy, dumpy, fat cat, hee, haw, tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp, cheep, cheep, cluck, cluck, quack, quack, yuck, yuck, yuck. Bozo yo yo, hey day, may day, hokey pokey, hanky panky, goody goody, yum yum, yummy yummy, tum tum, gimme gimme, gobble gobble, jelly belly, dum dum. Voodoo, boob tube, moo moo, poo poo, clang clang, ying yang, ching ching, wing ding, pow wow, cow tow, peg leg, jet set. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, better, hadda, oughta, ship shape, sump pump, achy breaky dude dad. Fi fi, my my, rag bag, tie die, beep beep, ho ho, paw paw, do do, ruta toot, zoot suit, looky looky, local yokel, Georgie porgy, hunka munka, henny penny, humpty dumpty. And then suddenly silence. Lulu, Mrs. Bell, and Mr. Thomas slumped into their chairs, and Mrs. Carter flopped onto the cot against the wall. Was it over? 
No one dared to speak. Lulu whispered, Mrs. Carter, may I please have a drink of water? Mrs. Carter sat up and said, of course you may, my dear. Mrs. Bell smiled weakly at the principal and said, you were magnificent, sir. Mr. Thomas perked up and smiled at everyone. He straightened his tie and said, I think we've done it, people. Mrs. Carter sat down at her desk and went back to checking over her posture records. Mr. Thomas walked across the hall to his office and went back to the letter he was writing. Lulu followed Mrs. Bell down the hallway and soon had her English homework all straightened out. And after English, it was just an ordinary Monday in Walla Walla. Bye-bye, Mrs. Ding-Dong. Ta-ta, Lulu.